everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Christine and if you're new here today, thank you so much for joining me. And if you've been with me before, well, let me just apologize up front for my very raspy voice. I caught myself a bit of a cold, so I apologize. Please bear with me, but let's get right into the project. So today we'll be working on these two oldies but goodies. They were literally on their way to the landfill and I'm super happy I could save them from a trip to the dump, but they definitely need a lot of love. You can see they're in pretty bad shape. The back is falling off here. The veneer is chipped and cracked in some places and it's peeling up in others. It looks like around the rim of both pieces, there's been perhaps some water damage. And then on the top, it's kind of bubbling up underneath the surface. And these wood plaques that's on the top drawers on both pieces, we'll be getting rid of those. I just, it shows their age. And it's missing about half the hardware on the drawers so we'll get some new hardware and hopefully we can just give these some love and a new life. I'll start out first things first by giving it a good cleaning with some TSP. They are filthy with grease and grime and oils and just all that gunk over the years so I'll clean them up really well and then I'll go back in with some clean water and wipe them down. You can see down at the bottom, the toe kick piece is on both pieces almost completely worn, which hopefully will um, work in our favor and we'll stain that. Um, look how dirty these are underneath. Look at all this dirt fall out. These wood plaques just unscrew from the inside and there was so much grime underneath them. <laughs> oh. Anyway, as I was saying, we will hopefully, it will work to our advantage that the top or the bottom fronts were both worn down completely. We'll stain those and I'm going to add some feet to both of these dressers just to give it some height. And we'll plug up all these holes and get some new hardware and we're going to make these both very beautiful. Once I've got everything cleaned really well, I'll go in with some plastic wood and just fill in all those holes from the old hardware and then let that dry and sand it down so that I've got a smooth surface. Do any of you also do two coats of this? I find that if I let it dry and then I go back in and do another coat and just let it sit just a hair above the surface, by the time I sand it down, I get a much better finish. Am I the only one that does that? Do you guys do that as well? <laughs> I'll sand this down very carefully because as I mentioned, there's a lot of damage that's been done. So my goal is not to actually sand it down, but rather just to scuff it up a little bit so that the paint has something to adhere to. As I mentioned, the back was falling off and in pretty tough shape, so I wanted to clean that up a bit. I just removed all the old staples and then grabbed my staple gun and just reattached it. 
um, for a nice tight fit. And then a lot of the drawers, the slides on the bottoms of the drawers were cracked or split. So I just went to Home Depot and got some replacements. Make sure if you are replacing slides on the bottom of the drawers, there's different sizes. So make sure you get the right size. And then this drawer was giving me a little bit more trouble. You can see the end of the drawer is actually kind of bowed for some reason. And the plastic glide you'll see here in a minute actually has a little round knob that sits inside the front of the drawer. And since this one was bowed, there was a gap in the front of the drawer. And so it kind of just kept bouncing every time you would open and shut it. So first things first, I just need to glue it down, first of all, to keep it in place. And then I'll put some glue inside that little hole. You'll see it in a minute. And then clamp it overnight and see if we can reshape this drawer and have it fit snugly in place again. You can kind of see that's a better view of it. Just that little hole, that gap isn't allowing it to stay in place. So. We'll just glue that back into place and this is where we'll clamp it so that it kind of slides right back into that hole. And then after that has a good snug fit again, I'll go back in tomorrow and I'll just gently hammer those little staples back into place if you can see those right there. And then since I wanted to add a little bit more height to each of these dressers, I found these round feet off of Amazon and I purchased two sets, four for each dresser obviously. I think they came in also black and white. I can put a link in the description below if anyone's interested, but they were very inexpensive. I think they were $16 for four of them. And then I had to purchase the hardware as well. I think that's like an additional 10 or 11 bucks. But the metal plates and the screws and everything came as a little kit. But the dressers themselves have nowhere to attach the legs. So I need to kind of build those out. And you can see I have here some two by fours. I just went to Home Depot and I measured and I had them cut the exact size I need. My dresser's upside down right now, you can see. And I just wanna attach these two by fours on each side of the bottom of the dresser for a really snug fit. And then they'll be wide enough so that I can screw on the metal plates and then ultimately put the feet on. I just need to pop out this little wood stabilizer and then I'll replace it with the two by four. You can also kind of see the front part of the dresser is coming apart a little bit. So once I get this out and the new two by four fixed firmly in place, I just give that some wood glue and tap it back into place. So I just used the little piece of wood as a shim to hold the two by four in place. And then I made sure to get the appropriate sized drill bit that matched my screw. And then for the camera purposes, I just drill two holes just to show you what I'm doing. But ultimately I put either four or five screws in just to make sure that it was very sturdy and would hold the feet really well. Make sure you pick the correct size of screw and also drill bit. You want your drill bit to be just a slightly smaller than the screw so that there's a nice tight snug fit. And then you want the screw to be the length or actually just shy of the length of the two by four and the side of the dresser combined so that it doesn't come out the other side.
Now I'll just grab my vacuum and clean up all these wood shavings and we can finally attach the metal plate. Once I pop out this little metal foot piece from the old dresser right there, then I now have the width I need in order to attach this metal plate and ultimately the feet. So now all four of my plates are attached. It's finally time to put my feet on. And this is one of two mistakes I made during this dresser makeover. If you can catch it, um, I was going to re-record it with the correct way, but then I thought maybe someone would learn from my mistakes, so I left it in. But I grabbed my drill bit and I just wanna drill a hole the drill bit is just slightly smaller than the threads that I'll be putting inside, but I actually drilled it upside down on the feet. I guess you could do the feet either way. When they came, they had a hole, a smaller hole pre-drilled on both sides. So I guess that implies you could use the feet either way, but I'm used to using the smaller end on the bottom, but Anyway, I did two of them. I just took my pliers and I started to thread it inside. And then I finished off with two of them before I realized my mistake. But once, just to finish this off, once you get your thread inside, you just want to screw them right into the plate on the bottom and make sure they have a snug fit. You'll see at the end, I've corrected my mistake and flipped the legs right side up. It's finally time to get painting. Today I'll be using Rust-Oleum chalked paint and the color is charcoal. This is just a really deep, rich, dark gray, almost black color that I thought would look great with the new hardware that I purchased. I'm just starting out with a chalk brush. I do like to thin out my paint a little bit. I feel like you get a much smoother finish. So I'll either use a spray bottle or sometimes I even add a little bit of water right to my, um, I'll pour a little bit of water into the paint itself into a cup and then just apply that. I did not use a primer, but I ended up going with three full coats just for full coverage. And then I, used a sponge roller brush on my final coat just so that it would have a really smooth finish.
I made sure to allow at least a couple hours in between each coat so that it would be completely dry. And then I did also take a 400 um, grit sandpaper and just do a light sanding in between each coat so that any debris or dust that had fallen on the paint while it was drying, I could make sure to get rid of that. And to finish this off, I'll be applying a dark wax to both dressers. You'll see here in a minute the difference between the top drawer that I'm applying the wax. It just really deepens up your pink color and gives a nice protective coating. I'll just apply that with a wax brush and then I'll go back in with a cotton t-shirt and just buff that off. We are almost done. I just need to add the hardware, but first the bottoms of these dressers, as I mentioned in the beginning, were in really rough shape. They were missing some of the veneer, they were chipped, they were peeling. So I filled in some wood putty that's paintable and um, also stainable. I sanded that down and then I found a cedar stain that was a similar color to the feet that I had purchased. And I stained that very gently and then added a polycrylic on top so that it would match my feet. I had to be really careful when sanding this down as this was in pretty tough shape. And so I just sanded it very gently and then added my stain. And I mentioned there were two mistakes along the way in this dresser. And here is the second one. When I ordered the new hardware off of Amazon, the hardware you can see is very flat. It's flat the whole way through. And some of these drawers were rounded. So you can see here that it was not a good fit. But that's okay, I had ordered some different hardware for the top drawers and they worked out perfect for the round drawers on the side as well. So let's add this hardware and finish this off. So just a reminder what this dresser looked like before and after.
Thank you so much for joining me here today. And if you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button so that you can hopefully join me back here for future projects. Ring the bell so that you're notified each week when I upload a new project. And give me a big thumbs up. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you back here real soon.